Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen and this is Better Diving. This mod adds in all sorts of underwater content, specifically so you can better explore it. It adds in little miniature submarines, like the one that I'm swimming around in now, as well as different types of wetsuits and underwater resources. So let's get started. Some of those underwater resources are limestone, sandstone, and shale outcrops you can find in oceans. This here shows you the percent chance of what you might find in each one. There's different ores that you might gain. For example, in the first one you find copper, titanium, iron, or coal. One of those resources is likely to be in there. All you need to do is click on it. Just to show you what it looks like, we've got a little bit of one here. There's a shale outcrop. I got some redstone. That one gave me some gold. Oops, looks like it got away from me. Let me grab that real quick. And we have some limestone, which gave me some coal. Now if you notice, it also adds in a little breath meter. Without any armor or anything like that, I only have about 45 seconds. I also have night vision right now just for the purposes of this video. Let's just grab this diamond real quick, and don't forget you're going to need a little bit of kelp in order to get started as well. Now that you're back on land, be sure to smelt up these resources that you got. Take your kelp and make yourself a little bit of fiber mesh so that you can get yourself some new armor. That's right, your standard diving set. Make it with some of that fiber mesh and titanium ingots that you've smelted from some of those resources. Each of these armor sets is made primarily of all the same materials. And to give you an idea, the base set, it falls between a leather armor set and a chain armor set. Now this wetsuit, each part is going to have a special ability. Increased swim speed, mining speed, a bit of oxygen, and diving depth. That's definitely going to be important. If you go with the improved set, you take your old diving gear and you increase it with some new materials, primarily just lead and silver. With the reinforced set, it's going to be a bunch of lead and diamonds. It's right, a little bit more expensive, but increases your armor. Now if you go with the improved set, it's going to double your output at the very least of all the different bonuses you get, but it'll keep the armor rating about the same. Now by putting all this on, you notice, ooh, I've got a bit of oxygen. Just by putting these things on, I got it. But if I have an empty can in my inventory, it doesn't fill up. Why not? Well, you need to have your mask equipped at the same time. I put this on, you notice, there's no oxygen. If I jump in the water down here without any gear on, I've got 45 seconds standard. Even if I put a oxygen tank with 90 seconds on, it won't work without your mask. Very important. You put that in place and you should be good. Your oxygen will slowly count down, even more so the deeper you are. That's why your mask is important. Now once I get up into the uh, breathable atmosphere, you'll notice my oxygen increasing, and yes, you can even switch out tanks on the go. Just make sure that your mask is in place. Now let's make one of these bad boys, a sea moth. It's your own personal mini sub. When you first make it, it's bare bones, a little bit of silver, a bunch of lead, a bunch of titanium, some glass, and a power cell which in itself is made of some more titanium, copper, and silver. It will start off with a full charge in that power cell, but you'll need at least two of these to get going, because your first Seamoth won't be charged. You can charge these in other mods' battery charging systems, or you can just make a new one and it'll be fully charged. So to start with, you'll have one without any power cell in it, even though the crafting recipe required it. But that's okay, you can sneak click, open its inventory, and put a power cell inside. Without it, it's not going to do anything for you. Then you jump in the water, it doesn't work on land. Right click and jump inside. By being inside, you now can breathe freely. It uh, doesn't take any of your oxygen. Also, you can insert a battery just by bringing up the inventory screen. Now if I just do a little bit of swimming around here with it, you'll notice on the right side the little lightning bolt dropped to 99%. That is your battery power. The little gear is going to be your durability, and of course you've got a temperature gauge. Not all these are currently in effect. Now if you want to pick it up, you just punch it or hit it with a weapon, and it'll go immediately into your inventory. You don't even need to worry about dropping it. It's really nice. And that about covers most of what there is in this mod. If you have been enjoying these itty bitty bit by bitties, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Come visit us on Twitch, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.